Hey guys, and welcome back. I am back in my living room. I know I haven't filmed in here in a while. I've been mostly filming things in my bedroom, but I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. I do like filming out here. I kind of like the background. Also because this is a calendar back here, this like picture in the background that you always see, that's a calendar. So it's changed because obviously it's April now. I wanted to film at least one video so you guys would get the April calendar spread. Definitely let me know what you like better. Do you like my bedroom setup or do you like this backdrop background? Let me know. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some of my empties. I have not filmed an empties I think in like a year. Like I really think it has been a year since I filmed one of these. I don't really have that many products and they're mostly skincare and like body care and hair care and things like that. Hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So I've been keeping all of my empties in this like bag thingy. First thing that I've used up, this is kind of like embarrassing, but I've used up three uh, cans of the Batiste dry shampoo. I basically live off dry shampoo. If you ever meet me, you'll know that I rarely wash my hair, it's kind of gross, but like I don't like washing my hair. And this is my favorite affordable dry shampoo. I have three different flavors because I like trying the different scents. This one is the Lotus one. I can't remember what this smells like. It smells pretty fresh. I really like this one. This is a tropical scent, it smells like coconut. And then this was the floral and fruity blush scent which is also really nice. So these are like go-tos for me. I love these and I wanna keep repurchasing these obviously. So some skincare things that I have used up. This is actually not quite finished yet, like a little bit left. So I just wanted to include it because it's basically finished and I'm just gonna use up the rest and then it's gonna go in the trash. This is the Bioderma makeup removing micellar water. It's basically just a makeup remover. I really like this. It doesn't irritate my skin. It also removes all of my makeup. I do really like these. I will repurchase it, but I feel like I wanna try something new. Like I wanna try a like a cleansing oil, Melissa Alator on YouTube. Is it Alatore or Alator? I don't know, but Melissa on YouTube, she uses the simple a cleansing oil, but I haven't been able to find that one in Canada yet. So if you have any suggestions that are affordable, please let me know because I kind of want to test out something new. I do like this. I'll definitely keep buying this as my makeup remover, but if you guys have any suggestions for cleansing oils, let me know. I've also gone through the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner. I love this toner. It's like my favorite favorite toner. I think it works really well with my skin. It smells really good. It smells really calming. And I apply it every night after I wash my face and before bed. If you're someone who is prone to acne and prone to irritation, totally, totally recommend this. I think it's really, really good. These products have been piling up for like, I think close to a year, like eight months at least. And I totally forgot I ran through this, but this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. I went through one of their 20 milliliter bottles. They used to sell it in the 10 milliliter bottles, but now they sell it in the 20. I really like this. I think it's really good. I still have another bottle of this, but I don't actually use it as much anymore. I didn't apply it every night, but I would apply it on problem areas like maybe twice a week, three times a week before bed. I've mentioned in a couple of videos already, I've been switching up my skincare routine, so I'm not focusing so much on tea tree at the moment. Like I said, I still have a bottle, so I'll probably use up that bottle, but then I'm not entirely sure if I would repurchase this depending on how my new ordinary products work out for me. Oh my God. Okay, this is like so strange. I don't even remember using this up. I also apparently ran through Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion. I used to apply this before bed, but like I said, I haven't been doing it recently, but I remember this being a really good lotion for uh, sensitive skin or acne prone skin. It didn't feel greasy. It just felt really calming and soothing. I guess I use this up as well. I don't know if I'll repurchase this because it wasn't like my favorite. On the hunt for like a new moisturizer, but this was a good one for before bed if you were interested. I also used up these Garnier, what is going on here? Makeup removers. These were just makeup makeup wipes. These are good. I don't think I purchased them again. I have the simple makeup wipes now, which I use. It came in like a two pack, so it was a better deal, I think, but these were pretty good from what I remember. I pretty much only use makeup wipes when I am removing swatches. I don't really use them on my face anymore. I think they kind of irritate my face a little bit. So I mostly use them for swatches or like cleaning up my under eye shadow. I think these ones were pretty good from what I remember. And I think they're meant for like, yeah, they're meant for sensitive skin. I always recommend you get, if you're someone who's prone to breakouts and things like that, always try and reach for things that are sensitive. At least that's my 
my motto. I have a secret deodorant in here. I honestly spend very little time thinking about what deodorant I'm using. Right now I am using the Dove brand deodorants, which I actually like a lot. I remember this being okay too. What did it smell like? Oh, it smelled like baby powder. This was a good one. I love the smell of baby powder. I don't know why I bought the two Dove ones that do not smell like baby powder, but yes, I did use up a deodorant. Back in December, I actually went through this like teeth whitening phase. I tried to whiten these babies because they were so yellow. I drink a ton of coffee. Like I'm very much a coffee addict and I really need to cut down. But anyways, I had really, really yellow teeth. And I think now, I mean, they're still kind of yellow. You can just look back at like older videos and stuff to see how yellow they were. I think they're still kind of yellow, but they are better than they were. And I don't know if you guys want a full video on how I keep my teeth white or sort of white. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But here are some of the products that I've used up. I actually bought the Pressed 3D White Professional Effects White Strips. They came in a pack of 20 and I applied top and bottom. I do think they worked. Like my teeth definitely looked whiter. I feel a little bit more confident and less, less self-conscious about them. I think I'm going to use these again in June because I think you're supposed to do it twice a year. I wanted to do once a year, but I think my teeth have just been getting so, so yellow that it's gonna take at least twice to get like full effects. But I think these did work. So if you wanted an easy way to whiten your teeth, and then to keep up the white teeth kind of thing, I bought a couple of toothpaste. And this first one is the Crest 3D Luxe Diamond Strong Toothpaste. This one was really good. I really liked the taste of it and I did think it kept my teeth looking whiter. And I also went through the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothpaste. I like these ones a lot. I'll definitely keep purchasing these because I do think they maintain, help maintain the whiteness of my teeth more than the regular like Crest toothpaste or the Colgate toothpaste. Okay, we are basically done. I only have three more products to share with you guys and they are all mascaras. Of course they are mascaras because you run through mascara so fast. The first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I had mine in the shade Blackest Black. This was a good mascara, but it definitely ran out pretty fast. And I don't remember it being the cheapest mascara on the market. So I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it unless I really cannot find a better mascara, but I'm always like interested in trying new mascaras rather than repurchasing the same one over and over again. If I find nothing better, then I will probably just repurchase this one if it's on sale. I also ran out of the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. This one was the one with the really strange wand. It had like a ball at the top of it. At first I didn't like it, it started to grow on me. Again, I don't think I'd repurchase it, but um, it was good. And then the last mascara and also the last product in this empties video is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. This one was also really good. I remember I did a video, like a full video dedicated to this mascara. It definitely made my lashes really long and really fluttery. It really volumized them and also lengthened them. I, this was a really good mascara. It had little fibers in it, but it didn't irritate my contact lenses at all. I really did like this. I feel like this was one of the mascaras that really, really lengthened my lashes. Out of the three that I showed you, this one and the Lash Paradise would probably be the two that I would eventually repurchase if I can't find any other mascara that I really like, but this one was super good. And that sums up this video. I'm sorry it was really boring. It felt also really fast and really rushed, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't do a lot of empties, so you'll probably not see another video like this for like, a year. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to throw away all this trash. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more and I will see you in my next one. Bye.